What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you two new search features that Google announced last week. Now the first one is voice search. So you can now search from google.com just by speaking. And how you do this is you'll see a little microphone icon on the right hand side of the search bar and you click on that and then you just start speaking uh, whatever you wanna search. So let's go ahead and try it out. Chinese restaurants in Times Square. So, as you can see, it came up with the exact thing that I was looking for. Well, I did say Times Square, and it just said time, but still extremely accurate. Uh, that's one thing that I've noticed about Google's voice searches, whether it be on Android or now in their search engine. They're usually always extremely accurate in the results that they bring up. So that's uh, Google voice search in the Google search engine. Now, the second feature is... Uh, image search and this isn't searching for images it's searching with images so I have a few pictures over here that we're gonna search with the first one is a picture of the location of WWDC 2011 then picture of the Golden Gate Bridge then New York or New York City at night then Paris at night and these last two pictures we can obviously tell the difference but uh, they're very similar and kind of the look and feel so we'll see if uh, Google image search can tell the difference. Also, another thing notice that I've named all of them just with asterisks to show you that it's really searching based off the image and not any title of the image or anything like that. And how you search with these images is you hit this, you can do one of two things. You can either hit this little picture icon and you can paste a URL or you can upload a URL or you can just drag in a picture from your desktop and drop it right here and then I'll upload the file and analyze it and then search. So as you can see it didn't come up with any of the right results for WWDC, didn't come up with a location or anything related to Apple but all these pictures do notice that they have the same kind of look and feel and the same colors and everything but none of them are the right image. So let's see if we put in a keyword so Apple, then it pulls up the right images. So uh, it works kind of well, but not exactly the best with that picture. Now let's try the Golden Gate Bridge. Drop the image in, upload it, analyze, and searching. So now, uh, yes, it came up with the correct location for this image. Came up with different websites and a whole a bunch of images down here of the Golden Gate Bridge and some websites like I said down here. So that one worked very well. Now let's see if they'll be able to differentiate these two pictures of big cities at night. First being New York City. So uploading and searching and searching and searching <laughs> I'll probably cut this out. <laughs> okay, well, it finally uploaded. It uh, took a little while, but of course, that's all. Just depends on your internet connection, mainly. So anyways, it found the right location. This is New York, so it has a couple uh, websites right here, and then other pictures that are very similar to the one that we uploaded. So that one worked great. Now let's try the last picture, Paris. Okay, that one uploaded a whole lot quicker than the other one. Wasn't sure what the problem with that one is. But anyways, uh, this one found the right location as well. Came up with Paris, and it also has Paris night, so it knows what time it was. Uh, comes up with very similar images also, and comes up with uh, websites for Paris. So uh, this feature works really well with commonly known places such as uh, Golden Gate Bridge, New York City, things like that. But with places like uh, WWDC, so lesser known images, it'll come up with something uh, similar and look and feel to that picture, but it may not come up with the exact thing if you search based on just the image alone. But still a really cool, neat feature that Google released. I'm sure it'll get better and better over time, but definitely go check out these two features. Uh, they're pretty neat and pretty cool. So be sure to leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down below, and be sure to subscribe for more great content like this, and I'll see you hopefully in my next video real soon. Later.